One comment I would make is because LSCs are covered by the Open Meeting Act, there's a great limitation on what you can do technologically. So there. So when you say limited, you're meaning, you're meaning limited in the data that they can share or the actual technology that they can use? The technology we can use to communicate. So the Open Meetings Act, and um, even though I've gone through the training on the Open Meeting Act, I'm by far an expert, um, it's a state law, I believe, for any public meeting that, and it has certain requirements about announcing a public meeting, a certain period ahead of, I think it's 24, 48 hours ahead of time, the, it has been a public area. If four members of the committee are together and talking about school business, it becomes an open meeting, um, there had, which then means there has to be minutes taken or reported. And, you know, there's always, it's been somewhat vague of, you know, and it's a little bit better when I went through the training recently about whether you can participate by calling in to a meeting or you can't participate well, what, in what's that. What's the goal of the open meeting then? The goal of the, I, as I understand it, is so that you don't have a secret cabal making right. decisions. So it's for transparency. So there's, you know, there you don't want to get a bunch of people in a room discussing something ahead of time and then going in and voting. Well, we all vote this way. Um, and so it's well intended, but also it was developed before technology really existed. So, you know, you can uh, uh, adhere to the Open Meeting Act by posting your agenda 48 hours in advance on the door of the school. Does that let the school community know, really, that anything's happening? You have to do that. You, you have, have to, to do that, that, right? It's by statute. Right. You have to do that. Right, so if I post the agenda on the school website and email it out to the entire listserv and post it on our Facebook page, I am, and don't post it on the door, I'm You're in violation, violation of the Open Meetings Act. But I, know, I have a question about something you said. You, it seems yeah. to me that you, you said that, that that somehow would hinge the amount of technology you can use. I, how, is it, how, does it, how, does it, uh, how does it restrict technology? You, you could use any technology you want provided you're open. Yeah. I mean, one area where it's been difficult, at least that I've seen, is just emailing. Like, if you just think about in your regular life, you're maybe on an email thread with six, seven, eight people, and you're just emailing back and forth. That becomes an issue if more of three of you, you know, three or more of you respond to an email thread. Um, so if we're working on a document that we want to sort of collect our thoughts, we can't work on it yet. We couldn't have a Google, Google Docs up there. Unless it was an open document. And then you posted it? Unless it's, it's an open document. I, I don't think the open it's meeting. It's very great. I, don't I think, think there, yeah. are, there isn't a lot of guidance. So yeah. what it means is the LSC members then become very um, conservative in yeah. what they do because nobody wants to break the law. So I think all <laughs> these areas of what if we, like you just said, what if we have a Google Doc, but anyone who wants to see it can see it. Though, or what if we yeah. want to discuss something in an online um little discussion board or something, yeah. all those things are very gray. So it, it limits, I think that's kind of what you meant, it yeah. limits. Well, and but, but you, you can know. do these But you things can use technology in other ways that would, I mean, I, I actually think the Open Meetings Act is good because yes. it keeps, you know, you accountable to the rest of the, the parents. And, and there are things that you can, so I think we should think about how we can use technology to make it more accessible to parents in the community, and um, not just you know to facilitate your communication, but also I mean that's certainly there too, but also the uh, communication with parents. So she mentioned posting a note on the on the door is not really communicating with parents, but it is a law, so you have to do it. But that doesn't stop you from from uh, posting it on a website. It doesn't stop you from having and emailing it out. So that's one way that you could use technology to facilitate um, access to, uh, to uh, others. Uh, and, and the other thing in terms of your meetings, um, although this would vary depending on the community's uh, access to, say, um, the web, you could, you could have a, a webinar, you could have an audio meeting, provided it's in your bio, bylaws, that you can commute, that you know that it's okay um, to communicate um, by 
uh, telephone or, or, or you right. and, right. that, and that you let people know that you, you know, and they have access to that audio. Uh, and I guess I didn't mean it to be anti open meetings. I mean, obviously I'm here, I believe in openness and discuss, yeah. <laughs> discussing it. But there are, I mean, I don't believe if you call into, if you're an LST member and you try and call into a meeting, I don't believe you can vote on every topic. I think there's oh, yeah, so you can. I, you I just went through the training. I, I don't, there's it just has to be written in your bylaws that you allow it. Well, uh, yeah, I think you have to, you have to have, um, well, I mean, this is something people can, should look up, but, obvi but I believe you have to have a quorum present. Yeah, I think, th I think that's it. You need to have a physical forum in the room and then yes. anyone else yeah. can call in. Yeah. You know, and, but and you, have, you have to be heard by everybody. Everybody needs to hear you. And you have to be there for the whole week. So you just can't call in for the first one or two items or things like that. So, no, it is allowed. Um, there, there are some broad regulations that do it and then the LSC can develop their own. Um, but no, well, and then the, the other issue is not having the budget to support any, any of it, right? So I'm not, you know, my school doesn't have have a speakerphone and call-in capability for a wide variety of people. So I have called in, and if someone putting their cell phone in the middle of the right, right that works. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that works. It works for one person. It doesn't work to make it accessible for a higher two hours.